Hello all of you wonderful people and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here with another match preview. This time it is Liverpool versus Atalanta. Now this is the first leg of the quarterfinal of the Europa League and it's coming live on Thursday. Obviously Thursday night football. It's 8pm kickoff. I will be live at half past seven like always with my live watch along. So if you're new to the channel or you, you don't know what that is, come along, watch along and find out. I watch the football and I'll give you, keep you up to date with everything that's happening. Goals, cards, substitutions, absolutely anything. So feel free to tag along and um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, before I get into the match preview, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It's really important that you do that if you're enjoying the content. And also hit that subscribe button. Everybody who hits the subscribe button, every single person makes a massive difference. And that's how I can grow as a channel and get out to more people who would be interested in the content. So please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into the match preview. So if you don't know what this is, what I do is I'll go through how I think the game will go. Then I'll give you my score prediction. And then I will give you my lineup prediction. Um, so the I have my notes, obviously, like always. Atalanta, pretty, pretty decent. Nothing spectacular, though. Um, I've gone from like the beginning of 2024. They've played 17 games. They've won nine, drawn four, lost four. Um, their most recent game was Cagliari away. They lost 2-1. Then before that, Napoli um, away. They won 3-0. Um, also, in the, they're into the semi-final at a Coppa Italia as well. Um, the first leg, they have lost the first leg, 1-0 against Fiorentina. And the second leg of that is not for another few weeks. But the last time out in the Europa League, that was against Sporting. Obviously, two-legged round of 16 tie. The first leg away, they drew 1-1. And then the second leg, they won 2-1. Obviously, enough to send them through to this round. Hopefully, they won't get any further. Um, so, their form is a bit all over the place. It's a bit, you know, like, obviously, semi-final of Coppa Italia is impressive. You know, getting to the final stages of any competition is impressive. They're in the quarterfinals of the Europa. Not doing too bad in the league. Um, yeah, but they, like I said, 17 games, they've won nine, which means they've dropped points in eight games, which is nearly half of them. So very positive signs for Liverpool. Um, that said with Liverpool now, I'm just really, really disappointed with Liverpool after this United game that we've just had so many chances to kill off the game didn't do it. It's the same with the FA Cup. I was saying it during my live stream. I was like, this is going to be just like the FA Cup. We're going to just let them back into it. And well, we did. And then they went ahead and we were lucky to actually pull back a point. I mean, a penalty, it was a penalty, don't get me wrong, but to rely on Juan Basaka to give away a penalty is not good enough. Um, the forwards, something needs shaken up there because... They're wasting way too many chances. It's just not good enough. It's really not good enough. If we carry on playing like this, we'll drop a lot more points throughout the end of the season, and then we will not win the title. And we very well would not win the Europa League either. Um, obviously, we are probably favourites, if, if not the favourite, one of the favourites to win the Europa League. And yeah, we need to be performing. This is when we. This is this is the the running. This is when you need to start actually getting that bit more out of the players and we're getting that little bit less out of the players, which is rather concerning, rather concerning. So, but anyway, we're not out of the league by any stretch of the imagination. Joint top, we're only, we're not top because of goal difference. So seven games to go. It's still very well a possibility that we win the league. Um, I'm not completely gone, but we just need to step it up instead of stepping back. Um, so, I don't know. I'm I'm still still confident in Liverpool's ability. I'm sure we'll go and get a result here in this game. Um, so with that said, let me go and get into my score prediction, which I am going to go with 2-0. I think that'll be a nice, comfortable scoreline. Um, hopefully we can keep a clean sheet. Hopefully there's no blunders, no mistakes that, you know, let Atalanta score. Um, hopefully, you know, we don't shut off at important games of the important times of the game, um, so I'm thinking two 0 I think that is, I think that's pretty correct. Um, 
Let me know if you have any differing opinions. If you think Atalanta are going to beat us, let me know. Get in the chat, honestly. Anything, I'll, I'll happily discuss anything. So just get in the chat and let me know your predictions as well. So now let's get into my lineup prediction. And where are we? So if I get rid of that one. Here it is. Um, pretty much picks itself. I have done a little bit of chopping and changing because, like I said, I think there needs to be. Very, very disappointed with how the United game went. So that explains, you know, the few little changes that I've had. Um, so Kelleher in goal, of course, very, very good. He, nothing, nothing he could have done really with the Bruno Fernandez goal. I mean, I'm not sure if he was even outside of the box. Um, a lot of people saying he shouldn't have been in that position, but really he should have been in that position. Um, off his line, he's not expecting Kwanzaa to just give away the ball like that to Fernandez, and I weren't really expecting Fernandez to hit it so well either. I mean, I was quite impressed with that. Um, quite often you see them trickle wide, but Fernandez hit it right, didn't he? So unfortunately, got the equaliser. But Kelleher not to blame for that one at all. Maybe you could say he could have done a bit better with the second one, but that's another great goal as well. But Still, for me, Kelleher is the best option in goal at the moment and still, in my eyes, the best sec um, backup keeper that there is in the world. So, obviously, I put him in. Left back, Robertson, of course. There's no... I, sh I wouldn't go pissing about putting Joe Gomez there and then having a space um, in centre-back. I don't know why Gomez was played... Or oh, Gomez was on the bench, actually, sorry, against United. I don't know why Kwanzaa was put in in such a high-tension game. I don't know why a youngster was put in there when there was two perfectly good centre-back options on the bench um, in Canate and Gomez. So I've gone with a no-nonsense lineup here. I've gone Robertson at left-back. Then, of course, Van Dijk and Canate uh, in a centre-back pairing. Of course, they are our best two centre-backs. That's where they should be. Bradley at right-back. Um you know, that pretty much picks itself. That is really what I expected against United, but it, it didn't happen. Um, and well, we've seen the consequences of that. Midfield, Endo, McAllister and Elliot. Elliot, I don't know why he's not starting with Elliot. Elliot is brilliant. Um, maybe he is a bit more of an impact player coming on, but I just, I think his, his trickery... He's he's all over the pitch, like he just constantly running and he's making chances. So I think Elliot should get his start here, um, and a, alongside Endo and McAllister, them two are brilliant. Them two really, really are brilliant. Even when Liverpool look pretty poor, them two are still pretty decent. Um, and then up top, I've gone with Darwin on the left because he is better playing from either one of the sides. Um, and definitely not through the middle. Diaz as well on the right-hand side. Really liked the way he done. He did play. He played a few games there earlier on in the season. Looked really good on the right-hand side. Obviously, they can switch, or they Darwin through the middle and Gakpo on the right. I just went with this way because I like the way Darwin comes in from the left. I like the way Diaz works out on the right. And then, obviously, I had to drop Salah. I had to drop Salah. This is how I would line up against Atalanta. Um, I don't see Salah being dropped, unfortunately, but I don't know what it is, whether he needs a rest or maybe obviously with um, fasting for Ramadan, maybe his energy levels are down. Fair enough. But he needs he needs a bit of time out of the team because he's just not with it. He really isn't with it. And if I watch him blaze a ball from like eight yards out over the bar again and again and again during this game, I'll pull my hair out. I really will pull my hair out. So I've gone with Gakpo. I don't see it happening. I see Salah starting, unfortunately. But I've gone with Gakpo through the middle. And that's how, if I was in charge, that's how I would line them up. Um, so again, guys, in full, that is Kelleher, Robertson, Van Dijk, Kanate, Bradley, Endo, McAllister, Elliott, then Nunes, Gakpo, and Diaz. Let me know how i done. done. Um, if you would change anything, if you agree with anything that I said, if you disagree, let me know. Get in the chat, of course, or in the comments on this video. And um, yeah, let me know. And like I said, if you're enjoying the content, please like the video. Please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, I'm live half past seven on Thursday for this game, doing a live watch along. Look forward to seeing you all in there. And until then, 
of the fucking Reds. <laughs>